Well, what's up, my dudes? It's Ossifer, and today we have another slightly throwback item for today's video. And this time it is the Lost Origin Build and Battle Stadium. Look how awesome that looks with the Giratina on the front. I did buy this on Pokemon Day, so it was a bit on sale, and I would love to pull the Giratina alt art. So let's open this up and see what's inside. With the plastic taken off, this is what we're looking at. We have the box, slide it out of the sleeve. We have the ETB type box with Giratina on the front. We got Zorark on the back, Gardevoir, and Enamorous. So that's what the box looks like. So we pop it open and we comes. it comes with four packs right here. Four Lost Origin packs. Whoa, five Lost Origin packs. One, two, three, four, five. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. We just got an error box. My first ever error box. You're only supposed to receive four packs in the build and battle part, but we received five. My first ever error box working out in my favor. That's awesome. That's a good clickbait, clickbait title. I, I bought an error box. <laughs> Anyways, what else we got in here? Here's the die. The damage counter and then the coin flip die. You got bulk energy. I've been giving these out, um, donating them to my local hobby stores. And then of course your typical poison and burn condition markers. We've all seen those. Now the other cool thing is you get two of the build and battle boxes. Each one of these boxes will come with four packs as well and a bunch of cards you can start playing a deck with. Let's see if we got lucky and, more, and got more error boxes. Now with these build and battle boxes, they do work as really nice deck boxes as well. So if you're short on deck boxes, these would work perfect, even in the long run. They are only made out of cardboard, but they're quite durable as long as you're not too rough with them. Uh, they come with a little bit of an instruction pamphlet. And the cool thing about these is that they do come with a slightly pre-built deck already with a code card too. So you get all the exact cards in this deck. We'll go through it so you can see what's inside. But the extra cool thing about them is that they come with a holo promo. So in this one, we can see the comfy holo that has a lost origin stamp. In every build and battle stadium, uh, these things can come with up to four different promos. And typically I'm pretty sure the build and battle stadiums would come with two different ones every time. So you get two out of the four guaranteed. And really cool in the other box, we get the Gengar Lost Origin Stamp Hollow. This one might be go. This one might be quite popular. Everybody loves Gengar, and this one gets the Lost Origin Stamp on it. So let's open these two up and see real quick what kind of cards come inside. In the first Build and Battle box, we'll go through it real quick. So you have the Comfy Promo. They'll give you a bunch of energy, enough to play the deck with. And wow, we get three different types of energy here, but we get some trainer cards both supporter and item you get your pokemon too looks like we get wormpole evolving into the dust stocks and another gengar and then the hisuian arcanine and the growlithe so that was the first deck and now with the gengar this will have different pokemon in it and it looks like we're gonna start things off with the same energy and then trainers and item cards as well another gengar and the Hisui and Growlithe in a different order, so more trainers. Oh, these ones have Machops evolving into the Machokes. We got the Gligars and the Gliscors. So they do make these decks to the point where they're almost playable. You will still need to add stuff to it. Mainly just a little bit more Pokemon, maybe some trainers and some energies for sure. Now I'll put these off to the side and let's check the boxes themselves. And maybe we got some more error boxes here. So in the first box, they all should come with four packs and the build and battle stadium itself should come with four packs. We were lucky enough to get five. So this one does have four. So typically you would have 12 packs to open. This one also has four. Uh, but in our lucky case with the error box, uh, we will have 13. So that was everything inside the build and battle stadium. Now it's time to open the packs and see if this error box can give us something big. So here's a quick show that we have 13 packs instead of just the typical 12. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So we did get an error box working out in our favor, giving us one extra pack. So here's our first pack. Let's see if this error box can come in showing us 
some really exciting hits. So with the first pack, I think I did see a white code card there. So it might not be necessarily starting off with a banger, but we do get the V-Star marker. And this one might just be a dud pack to start things off, but I'd rather start slow and end off strong. So we get the reverse glass rear into the regular rare Gliscor. And the point of these build and battle stadiums is that the reason why they come with all these other packs is that these are the cards you can use in addition to the semi pre-built decks they give you. So you'll have more Pokemon to add to it, more trainers to add to it, more energy cards, and definitely by the end of it, you'll have enough to make a fully functional deck. It probably won't be very meta, but if you're playing in like a pre-release, event where everyone is running the same cards it would be quite fair and fun so you have the polyrath reverse into the clefable regular rare i haven't opened too much lost origin so my collection for this set's not as big as i'd like it to be so i'm still chasing a lot of big hits here there's the alt art aerodactyl the alt art giratina of course would be the number one chase uh here we got thornton bronzong call rest's experiment phalanx Poliwag, Murkrow, Murkrow, no way, back to back Murkrows, uh, we got the reverse arc phone into a regular rare spirit tomb, so that was three packs in, not the hottest start, but that's okay, because we have a lot of packs to go through, and all it takes is one, I did say earlier, I bought this on Pokemon day, uh, look at these cards, they're kind of darker, the border, I wonder if this was the error pack. Oh no, it wouldn't have been. The error pack would be near the end of this video. But I did buy this and another product on Pokemon Day. I uh, wish I could have bought more because there were some really good sales in my area. However, everyone's on a budget. I did pick my top two products. And you'll see the other one in a later video. But for now, you're going to see this one. We are walking away with the reverse Gliscor into the regular rare Landris. Now, question is, how soon... Can we get that first hit with, I think, our fifth pack? We're looking at, I might have seen a peeker there, actually. We got the Roserade, Sligoo, Electric, Phalanx again, Poliwag. Poliwag, I feel like could have been a starter. Oddish, I feel like could have been a starter. Same with Growlithe. They're all super cool Pokemon. C Dot could have been a starter. We get the Reverse Hoopa into our first hit. What is it? What is it? It's... The Pidgeot V full art is a no, it's not the full art, it's a regular Pidgeot V. Super cool. Pidgey is one of my favorite Pokemon. Every time playing Pokemon Soul Silver, not Soul Silver, Pokemon Silver, Pidgey would be the first Pokemon I catch and it would stay with me till the very end. It would be the HM Slave to learn Fly. And Fly is, a, you know, one of those rare HMs like Surf that are actually usable. But we got Box of Disaster, Sligoo, Gumi, nice. We're getting some nice chains here. We got some double cards to begin, and now we're getting cards with like evolutions of themselves. We have Lake Acuity and Politoed. That might be my first Politoed. So a little pack check here. We have seven packs to go, about halfway through all the boosters. The hit rate hasn't been the greatest. If we can walk away with about a 20% hit rate by the end of this, I believe that would be a W. So let's see. We got one pack so far. Seedra. Seedra's a cool Pokemon too. Well, we got the Histuian Basculin, the Jinx, Makuhita, Bronzor. We got the Litwick into... Oh, what do we got here? What is this? It is... Let's go! The Full Art Curem V. That is, look at these contrasting colors. That is nice. That sticks out way more than the Pidgeot does. So we're already only one hit away from having a nice little 20% hit rate that we try to go for. Ever since we've been opening Crown Zenith, we've been really spoiled with the hit rate. So anytime we're opening outside of it, we have to sort of go come back down to reality and know that the hit rate isn't always going to be there. But here we are with the reverse Electrike into the Hollow Orbeetle. Look at that little guy floating in the air. Even if we're walking away with nothing too crazy out of this box, I'm still super happy about the fact that I can say I've received an error box. 
There's been so many YouTube videos that we've seen over time and they've all experienced their own error boxes and I'm glad I can finally join the club. Let's go! We got a cast form trainer gallery with Sharon's care. Not Sharon's, his name is just Sharon. But Sharon with the cast form trainer gallery, that's new to this collection. And right behind it is the Mimikyu. So that's our three hits. We got four packs to go. Any more hits beyond this point would be some icing on the cake. We are down to the final four packs. And it seems like a lot of these packs look like they have just sort of an extra dark blue on the back. I uh, can't say I've seen that before, but I wouldn't be surprised if that's a common little printing error. It's nice that we get an error box. Now we get some printing errors. We got the Gliscor into the regular rare Hoopa. And now the final three packs. Let's see if you'll continue to see the darker blue background on these cards. And we do. Is it just me? I'm pretty sure these cards do seem a little bit darker, but that's okay. Seems like they all came from the same batch. Maybe that means they're gonna give us at least one big hit in this batch here. Make sure to spread the love in all these packs with a third to last booster in the entire error box. We get the reverse barbarical. Hey, let's go. This is another Pidgeot V. We got another Pidgeot V actually. No way. No way there's two of the same card in the same box. How often does that happen? Error box confirmed. Now to the second to last pack. These ones are definitely the, the boosters that came in the actual build and battle themselves. So maybe they, uh, maybe that's where the extra Pidgeot V come, came from. Maybe that was the error pack. Gave us a second little Pidgeot V in there. I know it's possible to pull the same card more than once in the same box, but like, you know, it's just a little unlikely. Ooh, we got the Radiant Guard of War. This is actually my first one. My first Radiant Guard of War that I'm missing from the Radiant Collection. At this point, the only Radiants I'm missing are the Radiants from the Pokemon Go set. And I don't know if I'll ever be buying Pokemon Go sets. I might just buy those as singles. They're the only ones I would have left at this point. And then the regular Rare Rhyferior. We're on the very last pack. I'm quite happy with this hit rate. We're looking at five hits in 12 packs. And now we have a little bonus pack here. Let's see if this bonus pack can give us something good. Again, the border on the back of the cards are still darker than usual. Now, can we get that alt art Giratina or any alt art in this entire Lost Origin set? Looks like we're gonna end things off with a reverse worm pull and uh, the regular rare Spirit Tomb. So not bad. We did get a an extra pack out of this error box and in this extra box we've got the Radiant Guard of War. The Pidgeot V into a Pidgeot V <laughs> and then the Cast Form Trainer Gallery. I really like this one and the Curium V. So my favorite is probably this one. It looks really good and to wrap things up I want you guys to let me know down in the comments below have you ever received an error box yourself or maybe an error pack, an error anything? So I'd love to hear the stories that you guys have. And don't forget to click right here to watch a previous video. Make sure to like and subscribe because we have new videos coming out every Monday. We have YouTube shorts coming out now too. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.